So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 6 of our um, Rangers career. Let's see there, Joe Garner has actually suffered a sprained ankle, he's been out of action for 3 weeks. That's a little bit disappointing and um, we do have some scout reports back on a few different players as we have already ended up the transfer deadline day and as you can see there, our rating is quite low. We are only on 57 which is not good enough but we've got a monthly scouting update and we've got a few players come back so we've got this guy here that looks quite good and we will snap him up straight away as he looks quite good we've got that guy wow this scout is bringing back some very good players here as we can see these guys we can get rid of um, as these Italian players look quite nice indeed so let's have a look straight away to see what their ratings are as we put them into our academy and let's see if any of them look like they could become anything kind of special so we've got this guy here Lombardi who's got overall 62 but he's got potential between 72 and 94 so he looks very good and then we've got this right midfielder who's got overall 50 but he's got good potential but we're going to wait for a minute to see if their potentials do actually go up and make themselves into I don't know, scout future stars, uh, potential to be special, I'm not sure, we will find out. But we are going to jump into the first game of this episode as we will be taking on Nottingham Forest away from home. We've only picked up four points, Nottingham Forest picked up three, so it's not going to be the easiest of games. But if we want to start climbing up the table, we are going to have to win this one. So let's see how we get on. Come on boys, let's do this. So we've lost the ball in a dangerous position, they go for goal, and Fodderingham gets the dough down to his left-hand side to make the save, but to be honest, we haven't had the best of starts of this game. Nottingham Forest look like the home side, and they're dominating the possession stats early on, but we should win that one in the air, which we don't. I was going to say, if we win that one in the air, we had, could have had the chance to go on the break, but as you can see here, we just cannot seem to get hold of the ball at the moment. We get the ball and we end up losing it. But Rotel plays the ball through to Chupa Akpom as he plays the ball back out wide to Rotario. And he's going to be charging down this right-hand side. And he's got plenty of pace, which he would be able to use here. Can he cut back inside? He can't, but he gets taken down and he does get back up again. So thankfully, um, he doesn't get injured. But I do think it was kind of a rash challenge and we could have been awarded a free kick for that. So win the ball back to play ball through to Akpom. Akpom out wide to McKay. McKay comes back inside. Lovely double step over. Play ball back inside to Chupa Akpom. And uh, his turn gets completely blocked. And we cannot seem to get a clean shot away. We've got the ball back here. As we're going to try and play the ball back through to Akpom. Akpom through to Marin. Marin goes for the strike. And it's a good block. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my God. They've scored. In the 29th minute, they have taken the lead at the Ibrox Stadium. In the 30th minute, they've scored a goal which could really put us in trouble in the league. They play a good ball through. They've got so much room there. Following them, should have been beaten from there. I'm not sure, but guys, dearie me, we are in a crisis. So Dodo through to Marion. Marion double step over past his man. Marion's going to go for goal. It's a good block, but that's more like it. We want players charging forward and we want players taking responsibility. Lovely ball through though to Chupa Akpom. Akpom does well, cuts back inside, offloads the ball here to Hodson. Hodson through to uh, Akpom. Akpom goes for goal again. And it's a really good save. Save? Block. <laughs> this is better as Dodo's charging down the right hand side. And as you see there, it's just a matter of who wants to win this game more. And at the moment, it looks like Nottingham Forest want to win it more than us. We're just not putting in a good performance. And they are running rings around us. As you see there, Asomba Longa holding the ball up. They got the ball with Lansbury. Lansbury gets the ball taken away from him. And now Halliday has got the ball and play ball through to Akpom. But the thing is, when we break, we don't break in numbers. And as you see there, they're holding players back. And we're just really struggling to try and create any clear-cut chance and play the ball back inside. And that's what I'm talking about. It's just simple passes that we cannot put together. So Akpom here through to Dodo. This is our chance. He takes on his man. Can he put it on the back of the net? He can. That's what we like to see in the 68th minute. Now number 14, Dodo has put the ball into the back of the net. And that was a good finish as well. Passing Nottingham Forest goalkeeper. At least he's going to save our blushes. Akpom picks up the assist. We play the ball through him. He does well to turn his man. And that's a really good strike as well. With his left boot across the face of the goal. And that's more like it. Come on. No way. This cannot be serious. They've had basically two shots on target throughout the whole game and they've put their second shot on target and it goes in the back of the net. Our defenders just all over the shot. Clint Hill and Sender us, they're too slow. They cannot keep up with play. They play a ball into centre. Where are our defenders? Absolutely nowhere to be seen. And the number seven has a simple finish into the back of the net as I knock my phone on the floor. Here we go. Just bad things happen to us. 
Oh my god! So the ball through to McKay. McKay cuts back inside. Lovely piece of play from McKay. He's going to whiz the ball across the face of the goal. And we cannot get across our marker to put that one in the back of the net. But we win that back. It comes to Hodson. Hodson goes for goal. And it's a good block. So there we go. That's it. We've lost a game. We lost two games in the previous episode. We've lost a game in this episode. I think we'll have to change up our formation. It's clearly not working. We're not scoring the goals. We're not defending well. And we're not putting in good performance for our home fans. It needs to improve. And it needs to improve very fast. Otherwise, we could be out the door quicker than we're coming in. So now it's time for the second game of the episode. And we have tried something completely different. This could completely backfire on us. As we've got pretty much a completely different squad we are going to be trying to use. So what kits don't clash? Oh, I hate it when this happens. I think we'll go with the red. Let's see if the red helps. Um, but guys, we're going to go with that three at the back. We're going to have pretty much like a V shape in the middle. And we have two up top. I don't know if it's going to work. We just want to try different things. Because what we're using was definitely not working before. So hopefully this will. Lovely piece of play. As you play ball through to Tammy Abraham. He gets taken out. And how is that not a foul? Surely he get held back there. I swear that there was a tug on his shirt. Otherwise he would have been clean for on goal. Why would he start spinning round if he wasn't? Better piece of play through to Tammy Abraham. Oh, Tammy's lost it, but we're playing better now. It looks like we're starting to find gaps up top, which is what we desperately need. Um, basically, my aspect of football is, obviously, scoring more goals wins you games. So if they score five, we score six. That's how I see it. I don't care. I'm not really going out to be the best defensive record in the league. I don't care. I want to score goals, and I want to have a good... Um, game i want to make it entertaining for you i want to go up to the top of the league and i want to be there i don't want to be doing boring nil nil draws one nil results i want to be banging in the goals left right and center a play ball through to harry forrester he unleashes the shot and we can't get a clean shot away but nico cranchai has already forced their goalkeeper into a good save so kenny miller through to jordan rossiter he plays the ball back to kenny miller kenny miller out wide to Leon Bailey, and that's what I'm talking about, guys. It's just simple pieces of football that we cannot put together. And uh, no, what are we doing? What are we doing? Surely we're going to win that. No, we're not. So they could have taken the shot there from the halfway line. And no, in my life, they probably would have scored. But we won the ball back here with Leon Bailey. This is more like it. Leon Bailey charging through, it cuts back inside, and we've just messed it up. Why didn't the skill move work? This is frustrating as hell, guys. Come on, we need to do this. Better from Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham here plays the ball out wide to Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey does well, cuts back inside. Leon Bailey goes for goal and he gets a deflection, goes wide of the post. So Waghorn through to Miller. Miller around the corner to Tammy. And Tammy Abraham can't get on the end of that. So we're moving into the 52nd minute. I suppose the only consolation is that they haven't scored. Well, not yet anyway. Talk about, oh my God, what a save. I was about to say, talk about the curse of the commentator and Fodderingham has just made an absolute delightful save. How has he kept that one out? I just do not know. We get it off the hook. But we get the chance to break. We squeeze the ball through to Tammy. Can we get on the end? It's just simple balls that we can't put together. If we played a good ball through there, Tammy Abraham had plenty of space to run into. He would have beaten the defender for pace. But it's just simple balls over the top that we cannot play at the moment. And I don't know why. It might be the team chemistry. It might have been too many changes that we brought into the team. Too many uh, change in formation. I'm not sure. But the players are not performing. Have a Harry Rossiter through to Miller. Miller through to Rossiter out wide. Rossiter plays the ball through to Lee. Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey is our star man. He's down the left-hand side. He cuts back inside. Plays the ball back inside to Roster. Roster through to Harry Forrester. Harry Forrester tries to unleash it, but we play the ball back outside and now to Waghorn. So we're trying to create an opening as we offload the ball back to Nico Cranchard. Nico Cranchard, let's fly from range. And it's a really good block. So now we're charging down the wings. This is our last chance here. We've got the ball with Dodo. He's going to put the ball into the far post. Can we win that in the air? With Chupa Akpom, the goalkeeper comes out, claims the ball, and guys, it's ended up as a nil, nil result. I suppose a point is a point, but we're not picking up the wins. I don't think that formation was for us. We might have defended, but we didn't really dominate. They had more possession. We only had three shots on target, which is not good enough. And I'm just stuck for option. I don't really know what to do. So now it's time for the third and final game of the episode as we will be taking on Walsall at the Ibrox Stadium in the Cup. So as you can see here, we've changed our formation yet again. We've gone with three at the back again and we've gone with a more attacking. So two CMs, we've got a right mid and a left mid. We've got a cam and we've got two strikers up top. Come on, boys. Harry Winter's back in the squad. Hopefully, that might have been our problem. We were missing our playmaker. Come on, boys. We need to win here. We need it. 
Lovely ball through though to Akpom. Chupa Akpom is trying to take on O'Connor for pace. He's going to stop his run. He cuts back inside. Chupa Akpom to so go all the way. And maybe we've got to try and be less selfish. Try and play some football before we just start charging forward. Maybe that's our problem. And we've got the ball with Harry Winks. Harry Winks is charging through here. He plays the ball through to Dodo. Dodo wins the ball back and we can't get through. But Harry Winks is starting to play some good football. And he's starting to get his rhythm back. With Halliday through to Akpom, Akpom out wide to McKay, McKay keeps on going, he cuts back inside, McKay back through to Harry Wings, Harry Wings lets go, and his shot wasn't powerful enough. Oh my god, this just is ridiculous guys, it really is. Their number nine has scored the goal for them, they've had absolutely no chances in the game, no shots on target, no possession, and then they go ahead and score a goal from a free header in the centre. We've got three towering centre backs and somehow their number nine made the late run into the box had a clear header into the back of the net. Following him has no chance and guys, I just don't know what to do. The Ravman Marin through to Winks. Winks back to Halliday. Lovely football here. We play the ball through. Uh, we play the ball back through to Chupa Akpom. And what a save from the goalkeeper. They win the ball back with McKay down the left hand side and not even McKay's pace is good enough to get away from him, man, but we should win that one in the air. And we don't. Ugh, it's half time. Lovely chance for them though. They've got the ball here. Clint Hill obviously is not going to catch up him. They play the ball into centre, but Philip Senderos wins that one. They play the ball to Halliday. Halliday through to Akpom. Akpom's going to play the ball out wide to Rotteru. Rotteru plays the ball back inside to Chupa Akpom. Akpom through to Dodo. Dodo out wide to McKay. This is our chance. Come on, McKay. Find the back of the net, son. That's more like it. That's a lovely finish. Finessing the ball round the corner, past the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. Our number 10, McKay, picks up the goal and what a ball that was out wide. And he had a lot to do, don't get me wrong, but that was a smart, smart finish into the bottom corner. Get in, that's more like it. Harry Winks through to Dodo, Dodo out wide to Halliday. And we can't get the ball, but this is the problem we're playing with three at the back. When they break through our line of five, there's only three defenders back and they are all slow. So that's where I think the better teams will really hurt us. So they're pushing a lot of bodies forward now. We play the ball through to Chupa Akpom. This is our chance in the 72nd minute. Chupa Akpom, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Surely he's gonna put the ball into the back of the net. And he does. Chupa Akpom, the man on loan from Arsenal, picks up the goal which puts us 2-1 up. And guys, it looks like we could be picking up our first win in a few games. As uh, Walsall just pushed every single body forward. I don't know why they're pushing so many people forward, but we just broke. Chupa Akpom had the chance and that was a simple finish for him into the back of the net. That's more like it, come on. So Holt here, having a, going on a lovely run. Plays ball out wide to O'Halloran. O'Halloran double step, goes back inside, goes for goal, gets taken out. The referee points the penalty spot and that is our chance to wrap up the game with a 3-1 result. As you see here, lovely piece of play from O'Halloran. He cut back inside, clearly got taken out and it is going to be... O'Halloran that's going to take the penalty. Should we give it to him or should we give it to someone else? Let's give it to O'Halloran. We have faith in the guy. He's going to put it into the back of the net. He goes to the right side. The goalkeeper's made the save. It comes back to O'Halloran and he might have missed the penalty, but he managed to get onto the rebound and put it into the back of the net. That is more like it. We're 3-1 up and it wasn't the best of penalties, but the goalkeeper saved it, but he was the one that reacted the quickest to put it into the back of the net. Come on. So that is more like it. We want to be putting in performances like that because then we will start creeping up the table and up to where we belong. But we did dominate that game and we had eight shots on target. Chupa Akpom picking up man of the match and that is what we like to see. So come on, let's put that form that we've got in the cup and put it into the league. However, guys, that is in fact going to be it for this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with my latest videos and career modes. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.